Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Emmanuel. Hope you're having a good day. Um, I wanted to make this quick video just to show you how we're helping our restaurants, especially when we're transitioning to the curbside delivery takeout format. And this is for anyone who did not have a format or already had one. This is a proven one that we're doing um, through Facebook. So my company, EK Consulting and Research, we help businesses specifically right now as restaurants as in their dying need. Um, and also they're the lifeblood of the economy as well too. So in this example, I'm gonna be showing you what we've created for the curbside um, delivery side. So click get started. Raleigh Eats is a page that I own, which if you wanna check it out, that'd be amazing. So this is just an example page that we usually show for people um, that they can go on here. We showcase restaurants, deals, etc. But if someone clicks curbside right here, Usually, we would take them through a link on the website or your Facebook page. It would say, Emmanuel, let's get you set up for our curbside pickup. This will take less than a minute. Tap or type your email. So you, this is my middle school email. So there you go. <laughs> uh, then it says, tap or type the number that will be used when picking up your order. So I put, put in my phone number. And what's happening in the background, this is all going into a database that you can be able to collect um, regarding for your audience and that you can be able to market to. So perfectly, perfect. You're all set. You can use the links below to order directly from the restaurant for curbside pickup or takeout. When you're ready, tap the call in my order button below. We also provide our menu to look over. Here's the address, it insert address because that's where the address would be. Call in my order, menu or online ordering. Currently online uh, menu, online ordering and menu is set to my website, but imagine if you if this is a, your restaurant or somebody else's restaurant, you click online ordering and it will take you to where you'd order online or the menu would take you to their website and then call in my order. It would that you know, it would show the phone number, etc. So, it is very impo important to click the I placed my order button once you've completed your order. So, let's just say I've already placed my order, etc. I would click I place my order then it would say please drive over to again insert address and we'll send you further instructions in a few minutes now what's happening here is i've put in a delay automatically that that will kind of wait a couple minutes because i mean not really a couple minutes it will, it will populate here just a little bit while i explain it but it's going to wait because you have to think about it someone's going to get their car they have to drive what if they live a little bit further away um what if they have to get their kids well, you know you just have to think about it realistically but again the cool thing that's happening in the background is that you're building a database a lot of things that i've been seeing from businesses or restaurants talking about that they should have done is that they didn't have a database a database meaning these are people that you can be able to reach out to when you're doing offers deals and again not just having the name and name email and phone number or zip code but actually knowing your customers if they're in college if they're families if they're um if they're single if etc if they're boy or girl male or female etc but that's the importance of really having a good database and being able to uh segment it to be able to exactly know who you are so while we wait it should be coming up here there we go perfect so once you have arrived and parked please tap the call i'm here button below please give us your name car type and color um so of course your color then you know you'd click call i'm here i'm here to pick up the uh tacos da, 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 da. perfect awesome thank you and then it will say now that you've picked up please enter your check total this allows us allows the restaurants to be able to track the database not the the, the data behind and the results so let's just say it was 30 bucks right boom they type in 30 awesome thank you for visiting oops let me scroll down thank you for choosing raleigh eats emmanuel during these difficult times we appreciate you choosing us more than we can say and we hope to see you again soon if you want to order again just type curbside get notified about um or yeah so they can be pretty much type in if they want to keep using this platform because again it's really easy press press notify me if you would like to be notified here in messenger for future specials this is important somebody clicks notify me boom they're in it's good so again if i wanted to order again i would just click curbside and since i've already gone through the beginning there you go i'll just go through that side so again that's the example if you're a restaurant watching this we are doing this for restaurants 100 percent free i mean i'm eating a cost to be able to create this we are asking if they if you want to do put in like five ten dollars a day uh, on advertising uh we'd recommend that because then that could be able to blast out the offers that you have to people in vicinity where you are um and again when you're doing advertisements you don't just put it for the whole world you're gonna put it for your location you don't have to do the ad spend for five ten dollars but we recommend that to get the really best results this is all being tracked again if you're a restaurant watching this please um contact me so we can get this set up the only thing i need is like images a couple images and access to the facebook page and if you're doing the ads or not um but if you know anyone in the industry for restaurants share this video for them comment them below and i look forward to helping them thank you and have a great day or night